In this video for the all buttoned up bag, I'm going to show you how to work with some of the interfacing. Now the bag has five different pieces plus two handles. It has a front and a back, two sides, and then a bottom and pocket lining. So I'm going to show you how to cut those. Now according to the pattern directions, uh, you've cut your large pieces. Then you're also going to be drawing some guidelines based on the pattern directions. So you'll do two sides, two fronts and backs, two handles, and then your bottom and your pocket lining. Now the pattern will tell you how to draw your guidelines. I find that a 36 inch ruler is very helpful on drawing those guidelines. So that would be a good purchase, a good tool purchase for you. When you're cutting out, uh, the guidelines are drawn so that you can cut them uh, to the shape that you need to for the bag. So for, um, on this one, oh, I also wanted to tell you that if you uh, draw a line in the wrong area, just mark X's in it so that you'll know not to cut on that particular line. But you do not have to cut another piece. So this happens to be the bottom and the pocket lining. And what we're going to do, you'll notice in your pattern that this area is shaded. And this is the area that we're going to cut away. So the way that I do this is I cut on that line. Then I'll cut on this line. I didn't do a very good job on that. Then I will turn it. And I will cut here. I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way so that the video can see this. Cut here, cut here, oops, cut on this side, cut here, and these corners that I'm pulling out You'll want to save them because with those, I'm going to trim that a little bit, with those you can actually make optional pockets for the inside of the bag. Hopefully you can see that. I know that it's a little dark on the inside. So this is your bottom and your pocket lining piece. Now we're going to do the front and back, and those are done a little bit differently. Instead of cutting out these corners completely, we are going to cut these corners at an angle, like this. And remember, you're going to do two of these. So this is the piece for your front and back. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to do your side piece. Now that dips down a little bit lower than the front and the back. So that is going to be cut the same way you're cutting your corners off at an angle. So that is your side piece. And you'll do two of those. Once you've finished cutting everything, the next step is you're going to be sewing. So here's your front and back piece. Notice that I've made two marks on the bottom. 
that is an area that we're not going to sew. We're going to be turning through that hole. So you'll take your interfacing and you've cut your fabric according to the directions. Place your interfacing on the back side of the fabric and make sure that you have about a half an inch all the way around. You'll be trimming that down, but that will help you sew. Flip this over, fuse it one more time so that you'll make sure that it's securely on there. You'll take a second piece of fabric, cut the same width and length, and then you'll place that. Now this happens to be a printed fabric, a directionally printed fabric, so you want to make sure that your uh, pattern is running in the correct direction, same direction on both pieces, so the flowers are facing up on this piece. And when I put this right sides together, matching all of the raw edges, you'll notice that the flowers are facing up on this piece also. Now you'll flip this over, pin all three layers together, and then you're going to stitch all the way around. Move this out of the way for a second. You'll stitch all the way around, starting at the beginning of your opening, go all the way around, and your stitches are going to run right along the edge of your interfacing. So uh, make sure when, as you're stitching, your needle just runs right along the edge of your interfacing. Go all the way around and stop stitching at the beginning of the hole. So here's one that's all done. Now I've trimmed my edges to about a quarter of an inch. I'll go back in and clip my corners. Now at the opening you want to leave your full half inch of excess fabric. So now we're going to turn this right side out. Now it's very possible that as you turn it the interfacing may let go in some places. Uh, don't worry about that. We'll be re-ironing it. So what you want to make sure is that you poke your corners all the way out so that the interfacing is all the way into the corner. See how nice and neat that corner is? Just go around with your hand Poke all the corners out, like that. Now you're going to iron this. And you're, as you're ironing this, you want to tuck that excess fabric in and just fold it over. Now you're going to, this is the front and back, you're going to do this with uh, two front and backs, two sides, and one bottom uh, or, or pocket lining piece. Once you've done this, you're going to iron it and then according to the pattern instructions you are going to draw some guidelines. On the front and back it's just two guidelines on either side and leave the hole unsewn. We'll do that in another step. The only piece that you will leave, that you will sew the opening closed is on the bottom and pocket lining. So that's it for this video.